Published, 1251 Eastern Standard Time, 5 March 2018. Updated, 1747 Eastern Standard Time, 5 March 2018. The expected procession tonight will certainly not prove anything but there is a growing belief at Liverpool that they will have a big say in the battle for Champions League glory this season. In some respects, manager Jurgen Klopp cannot win against Porto at Anfield, particularly given the five-goal cushion his side hold from the first leg. Victory is expected and anything less will be a disappointment. The evidence of whether Liverpool's adventurous style can topple the elite will come next month in the quarter-finals. Mohamed Salah was all smiles as he trained on Monday ahead of Liverpool's clash with Porto Sadio Mane and Salah were the goal scorers at the weekend as Liverpool beat Newcastle goalkeeper Loris Karius shares a laugh with teammates. Joe Gomez and Virgil van Dijk Jurgen Klopp looks on as he prepares his side for their Champions League last 16-second leg on Monday. James Milner suggested Liverpool are ready to conquer anything put in front of them, a confidence deriving from Mo Salah, Roberto Firmino and Sadio Mane scoring 70 goals between them this season. They are a match for the most unyielding back lines. We have proved over the last few years that we can beat anyone on our day, Milner said. I think we are getting closer. Moving forward we are an exciting team to watch. I think we are learning to manage games better than we have done in the past. That maturity is coming through. At this stage of the tournament you need to have a belief that you can go on and win it. That tonight is almost a formality as testament to the ice-cold finishing in Portugal three weeks ago and, because of that, Adam Lalana could be handed a first start in two months. Goals and setbacks have blighted the midfielder since returning from a long-term thigh injury sustained in pre-season. He has looked bright off the bench in recent weeks and may be one who Klopp offers an opportunity to, even if the German claims not to be planning wholesale changes. Roberto Firmino was wrapped up warm for the chilly conditions at Melwood on Monday. Red centre-back Van Dijk was put through his paces ahead of protecting a five-goal-led PR all desperate to play, Klopp said. We respect Porto too much and the competition too much to think about real rotation. Maybe one, two, three changes but only to win the game. We are in a moment in the league where we all have to deliver constantly. You have to show up or anything else leads to more problems. If we change anything it is for this game and not because we play Manchester United on Saturday. Lalana is itching to play, especially as England have two friendlies at the end of the month and he has not finished a match since May. The 29-year-old has played 35 minutes in the last three Premier League games and knows he must kick on as Gareth Southgate scrutinises his options for the World Cup. Klopp does not want to rush him back again, however. Adam was an integral part of the team, Klopp said. For him, the competition for places is not a problem because he is important to us. Ben Woodburn and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain will hope for some game time at Anfield. Liverpool only need to avoid a defeat by five or more goals to secure their quarter-final spot that he needed time. Life is about learning from your mistakes and we all have to learn. We made a mistake as he looked fit. So now we have to build with him. He is coming close. He is cool with the situation as he sees the quality of the team is good. Klopp also revealed he has been impressed with the form of Captain Jordan Henderson. He knows what I think of him, Klopp said. Can Jordan improve? Of course, he is young enough to do so. Is he a very strong player? Yes, 100%. Last game for sure was an outstandingly good game. He controlled the game, was very aggressive and very good defending. He had the most difficult job in England to replace Steven Gerrard as captain. Hopefully people don't think about that anymore.